Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Study shows phthalate alternative to possibly harm brain development and health. Growing concerns over the potential health effects of exposure to phthalates, a component of many plastics and also known as a plasticizer, have led to a search for safer alternatives. In a new study conducted in cell cultures, researchers found that the chemical acetyl tributyl citrate or ATBC might not be the best replacement because it appears to interfere with the growth and maintenance of neurons. ATBC has emerged as a leading phthalate alternative as companies seek to shift away from phthalates and is currently used in a variety of materials and products including food and food packaging. Markers of PTSD in the blood identified in study A new study found that people who are currently suffering or face a high risk of post-traumatic stress disorder show particular patterns in four biomarkers measurable with a simple blood test. The findings suggest these biomarkers could be used to predict a person's likelihood of developing PTSD, diagnose the disorder or monitor the response to treatment. For the study, researchers analyzed four biomarkers in blood samples from active duty service members taken before a 10-month deployment, three days after their return and three to six months after their return. The biomarkers have previously been linked to stress, depression, anxiety and mental health disorders. They included the glycolytic ratio, a measure of how the body breaks down sugar to produce energy, arginine, an amino acid that plays a role in the immune and cardiovascular systems, serotonin, a chemical messenger that helps regulate mood, sleep and other functions, and glutamate, a chemical messenger that plays a role in learning and memory. Novel probe for labeling macrophages associated with cancer progression using a selective dye. M1 and M2 are activated macrophages that protect our immune system and maintain homeostasis. Interestingly, they are characterized by distinct and opposing phenotypes. M1 macrophages are known for their bactericidal and tumoricidal properties by secreting pro-inflammatory cytokines, while M2 macrophages facilitate immunosuppressive responses and help cancer progression. As such, reprogramming macrophages from M2 to M1 phenotype has been regarded as a significant interest in the view of potential cancer treatment methods. Though it has been challenging to distinguish between living M1 and M2 using fluorescent molecules until now, a research team at Postec developed a novel probe selectively dyeing M2 over M1 for the first time. Clinical trial of Enzamet shows it is promising as a prostate cancer treatment. A new drug combination for men with advanced prostate cancer has shown sustained increase in survival rates. The results from the clinical trial of Enzamet, co-chaired by Professor Christopher Sweeney, who is a director of the South Australian Immunogenomics Cancer Institute that operates within the University of Adelaide, has been recently published in the Lancet Oncology. For people with metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer, the addition of an androgen receptor blocker with enzalutamide to standard therapy, suppression of testosterone with or without chemotherapy, led to a 67% survival rate after 5 years. This compares to 57% of people who were alive after 5 years after receiving the standard best practice treatment. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.